And your name is? I am Jordan Spagnuolo. I am a rising junior, current sophomore. Okay. Currently, I feel like it's been, uh, in the past, it was certainly, I think, overhyped. It was, like, over-talked about. Like, I get it was a global pandemic, but I feel like, you know, actions speak louder than words, and I feel like we're just talking too much, not doing enough about it. But currently, I, mean, I know it's definitely gone down. It's definitely gotten better. I mean, people are getting vaccines and whatnot, but yeah. it, it's, it's going to be around for a little bit longer. If like. I agree with that. It'll probably be around for a long time, probably. I can see that. I mean, currently, like I said, with the vaccines coming out, I feel like it will be one of those things where it's like you'll have to get either a booster or it'll be like a flu shot like every year. I know some people don't get the flu shots, but it might be one of those things where it's up to you if you get it or not. Because, I mean, those people that had COVID once, twice, whatever, or something like that, they build antibodies to it. And it's not to say they can't get it again, but it's less likely that they will. So I can see certainly the numbers going down, I mean, within the next couple months, years for sure. But it's 2021, anything can happen. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't really gone into every single building on campus, but the ones I've been in, I've seen like hand sanitizer things and, you know, the white light containers yeah. in each room. I mean, nobody really uses them. I can't lie. I don't even use them. But, <laughs> but some people use them. Some people are really cautious of it. I don't want to say scared. But some people are very diligent with it. They'll wipe their desks and they'll wipe whatever they feel like they need to. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, the ones in the uh, basement of Canon are like dried out. So it's like, it's just like you're rubbing the desk with a towel. So that's it's really not doing much. You know? All right. I feel like they've done, you know, what they could with the, the um, weekly testing and everything too. That helps. Honestly, no. I don't. I think it's just a waste of time in the morning because everyone could just lie on it. It's like six, seven questions. Yeah. And it's just like you click on it, no. Click on it, no. Click on it, no. Who's who's gonna want to say yes? Because at that point they can't go to whatever their sport is or you know some teacher. Yeah, that's good. Teacher. Yeah, I agree with that as well. It's I, I, like I just think it's just like I'm mean, anyone can fill it out and then you just submit it and you're done. So you can go to class field and like. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I definitely think it's convenient because you have um, people that commute, people that live on campus, and some people, some freshmen up through seniors don't have cars here, so it's like they don't have the access to drive wherever to get tests, and the on-campus stuff is free. Yeah. And generally, you get your results pretty quickly. Minus last week, it took me like three days, but other than that, I usually get it within 18 hours. Okay. <laughs> last semester or last year right when everything started when it was on zoom I mean, I mean i liked it i got to go home got to chill at home in the comfort of my house uh you know it was like i just stepped on my own time i didn't have to worry about every other thing yeah um but at the same time, people who don't have Wi-Fi at home, they're struggling to keep a connection that's cut down, so they'll be missing yeah. a couple of things. And some people don't have laptops, some people don't have the access for that stuff. Exactly. 
But I mean, for me, it worked out well, and I mean, I'd do it again. But I feel like because you're missing the one-on-one -on -one interaction with another person. Oh, for sure, for sure.